As somebody who owns many electronic devices with different power requirements, I am also definitely a convert to the new technology of gallium nitride chargers, which I found to be compact, efficient, and incredibly powerful. Most importantly, I just need to be able to use one single plug to charge my MacBook, my Steam Deck, and, uh, let's say the MiU Mini Plus, all at the same time, because of course I do. VoltMe, which is a brand of VoltNex innovations, are a market leader in power delivery solutions. Their new Revo 140W GAN fast charger was awarded the 2023 Red Dot Design Award, which is an internationally recognized accolade for high quality, innovative product design. Thus, when VoltMe reached out and asked me to test this shiny new gadget, I of course accepted. How will this power delivery mini monster hold up to the competition? And more importantly, can it charge all of the aforementioned devices at once? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze. This is the VoltMe Revo 140W GAN charger. It's capable of delivering up to 140 watts of power through its three outputs, which include two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. It supports nearly all fast charging technologies, including Power Delivery 3.1 and Quick Charge 5.0. In addition, this thing can charge a single laptop at 140 watts or it can even charge two laptops at 65 watts at the same time. In short, this thing can power basically anything on the market right now. Just to put that into perspective, the Revo 140W can charge two MacBook Pros to 50% battery in both 50 minutes at the same time, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. Now, I'm really a normal guy. I'm not gonna plug this into any big machine and give you readouts and line graphs and all of that stuff, but I do want to tell you my real world experience with this device and what I think of it. The Revo is fairly compact, with a pretty simple dimpled design. It's definitely quite utilitarian, it's not quite as sleek and nice looking as say the Koval Charging Mate Pro, but the construction and the materials are a very good quality. I actually took this plug on holiday with me too and it held up perfectly just being chucked in my bag every day. It weighs more or less the same as the Koval, but is definitely noticeably lighter than the MacBook Pro charger, which I hate, anecdotally. One thing I definitely notice about the Revo is that it doesn't get as warm as either the MacBook Pro charger or the Koval, which I think is a really good thing. Oh, and if you're, um, well, anywhere other than in the UK like I am, you'll get a folding plug version that is yet even more compact and baggable than this ugly thing on the end here that all UK plugs have. For my smartphone, an Asus Zenfone 8, it of course absolutely blows away the 30 watt Quick Charge 5 spec meaning that it can charge my phone to around 80% in about 30 minutes. And again, in real world terms, this means that I can plug my phone in at near death for as little as around 15 minutes, and then be confident that it will have several hours worth of battery life after, which is excellent. Oh, and you know what? It in fact even does this with any other device plugged in at the same time. In fact, with three cables attached, for example, let's say my laptop, my phone, and a gaming handheld, my phone will still charge at the maximum possible speed of 30 watts. And even then, the USB-A port provides 22.5 watts, which is still well within Quick Charge 3.0 territory. All in all, for any device that supports Quick Charge, the Revo is gonna blow it away. It's the perfect solution. Here's a really handy screenshot from the sales page, which explains the power delivery capabilities for the Revo in different scenarios. And something I find really impressive is that even with three cables charging three devices at once, the top USB-C port still provides 65 watts of power. The second one still delivers 45 watts. To put this into perspective, the Steam Deck takes a maximum of 45 watts, meaning you can power your laptop and a phone whilst also charging the deck at the maximum possible rate. And with three high power devices like this working this well all at once, you can be assured that whenever you plug something into this charger, it is going to charge it reliably, efficiently, and quickly. Speaking of the Steam Deck, the Revo performs valiantly, charging it even under load. In my test, I took the deck at around 5% battery, ran a heavy game, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and the deck was still able to charge the battery up. This means that by using the Revo, you won't have to stop playing just to give your deck some extra juice. And just to drive this point home again, this is even the case with a laptop and a phone plugged into the same plug at the same time. And I don't need to tell you again that this is incredibly impressive power delivery technology. 
It's actually unbelievable what we're able to do with these really compact chargers these days. Gone are the days of those big, heavy, and long laptop charging blocks. Now all you need is a compact plug like this and a USB-C cable and you're good to go. Speaking of USB-C cables, I also want to quickly touch on the VoltMe USB-C to USB-C cable that they provided. The cable is made from high quality, very soft liquid silicone with metal tipped ends. They actually call this a skin feeling texture, which actually is a pretty accurate description, except that the cable itself is like cold or room temperature, but human skin is warm. Unless the person is dead, I guess, in which case it might feel like that, but I don't know. Dead skin texture doesn't really sound very appealing to me, so let's just go with skin feeling texture. Anyway, this cable has gone through absolute hell during my recent travel, and still looks pretty much flawless. It's a uniquely malleable cable, and it can be wound up tightly or looped in around a 5mm radius without creasing. It's incredibly durable, very high quality, and most importantly, it doesn't tangle, like, at all. The texture of the cable is such that it just kind of slides out of any tangle. It's really impressive and also really convenient. I have been known to sometimes just throw a cable into my bag. I'm honestly really bad for this. And usually when I get that cable out again, it's all tangled up. But with this specific one, it just never does. I just pull it out. It will just fall out of any loops or tangles that it's in. It's really great, honestly. It's one of those things I didn't know I needed until I had it. And now I have a cable like this. I want all of my cables to be like this. This one's a kind of mint ice cream green color, but there are a few different color options available too. The cable can support a maximum load of around 100 kilograms and is rated to withstand over 10,000 insertions and 10,000 bends. It supports a maximum of 100 watts and a 480 megabits per second data transfer speed. And of course, it also supports fast charging with power delivery and quick charge 3.0. So how does the VoltMe stand up to the other competitors on the market, or at least the ones that I've tried? Compared to the Koval Charging Mate Pro, I would say that the VoltMe is generally just better. It's not necessarily that I dislike the Koval, in fact, I really love it, I use it every day. In fact, there's a lot I prefer about the Koval Charging Mate Pro. That is, I think the build quality is a bit better, I think it looks a little sleeker and nicer, and I find the small blue LED on it to be a bit less garish than the Revo's white LED. But to be honest, none of that really matters to me at all, simply because the Revo has that second USB-C port. The fact that it has that second port is just a game changer. I mean, it sounds kind of silly, but it's just the difference between charging two and three devices at once. It just makes the Revo so much more usable. And the fact that it does three devices at once so well, it's just unbeatable to me. In fact, to be honest, I would love to see like a 240 watt or maybe 280 watt GAN charger that could do six devices at once. Oh, that would be a dream come true, but for now, the VoltMe Revo is the one to beat with its three charging ports. When compared to the Apple MacBook Pro charger, well, I, I mean, I hate this thing. I absolutely hate it. It's unreliable, unsteady, it's heavy, it's slow, it's hot, it's made by Apple. Literally everything about it is bad. And of course, it only has that one output. So once again, the VoltMe Revo is 100, 200, maybe even 300% better than the Apple charger. And yes, I do use it every day on my MacBook, and it works without a single hiccup. And so one last cherry on the top for the VoltMe Revo is that you get a very generous 24 month warranty on both the charger and any cables you buy as well. That's pretty unusual with these devices to be honest, but VoltMe really backs up their products with excellent customer service and warranty. So to wrap up, the VoltMe Revo 140 watt GAN charger is an absolute monster. It can charge three high-powered electronic devices at once without breaking a sweat, including laptops, your Steam Deck, your retro handheld gaming devices, anything. It's compact, it's not too heavy, and I'm incredibly impressed by it in honestly every way. This thing is now my go-to charger for literally everything, and it comes highly recommended from me. It is absolutely the ultimate charger for anybody who travels with electronic devices or just generally has them close by at all times and needs to keep them topped up. I really can't recommend it enough. And I've put a couple of links in the description for you to check out on Amazon UK and Amazon US. I do recommend taking a look at the listings because they do go into a lot of detail on some of the really advanced technology that is present in this GAN charger. And it's stuff like heat dissipation, it's stuff like 
power delivery, modulation, I don't really know how to describe it, but there's a lot of really impressive technology that keeps your devices safe and make sure that they charge really efficiently. So do check them out and check out the link to their website in the description box too. And that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching RetroBreeze and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you.